What up YouTube, it's Boogie. Today I got another booster pack opening for you guys. Um, I'm really excited about this set because it's one of my favorite sets probably of all, maybe. I, I, it might not be that popular to some people and it's not a very big set, but I'm excited. I like the, the like um, introduction of the kind of CGI characters and how the realism of them um growing up with pokemon when i was a kid i guess um till now having a nostalgia feeling might be a factor in that but geez i can't even open the pack But th this is probably one of my favorite sets. Um, this is my first time ever opening one of, one of these. So that's a, I guess it's kind of a bold statement, not knowing, but I've seen openings and I know what cards are in this set. So um, I would say that the American version is probably the, the uh, better one in my opinion. Um, the Japanese version, which is this one, is um, it comes with more cards in the set. I, I believe there's 24 cards in this set, whereas in the American version, I think there's only 18. Um, I don't think there's a card trick. I think it's just you go through all of them and that's it. So here's Lickitung. Here's Mo uh, I think it's Morlo. Here's Jigglypuff. And right off the bat, we got a Hollow Greninja. Pretty good. So the realism in the is is pretty uh, is pretty sick. I like I like how the uh, the Charizard is probably the best one. A lot of people like the Pikachu too. I like the Pikachu, but I always think of like uh, a powerful Charizard. Like he's a he's a reptile, like a lizard. So it make it reminds me of thinking about um, like a snake or something. Uh, we got a Bulbasaur, and then the, the rare. Is a Charizard. Nice. Right off the bat. Second pack in, we already pulled a Charizard VX. So in this set, you can double up on um, one of the Hollows. I mean, one of the GXs. I've seen um, people double up on Charizard GX. So I wouldn't mind doubling up on that one. But the more common double up for this set, I think, is the... Greninja and another um, GX that you could pull in this set is the Mewtwo. And then there's the chance, uh, not the chance, uh, I believe every, every set is guaranteed a secret rare. And the secret rare is Detective, um, I forgot his name. Is a Charmander, a Psyduck, a uh, Snubble, and a Mewtwo. So having the nostalgia from back in the days when I used to collect the uh, base set Pokemon, um, I think I like the CGI now. And just seeing all, all the different, um, like, uh, what is it called? Like, uh, uh, 
seasons, like, I, I don't know what to call it, like the different eras, I guess, the different eras of Pokemon that have come out and the ideas that they bring for the new character, like new Pokemon um, that they bring out every genre. I just like watching, looking at the, the arts. I already got the Charizard, nice. We got a reverse Charizard. I might want to sleeve this too. Like, um, back in the day and all the, you know, back in the day, thinking about all the nostalgic Pokemon and stuff like that. It's always great to see those, and I know a lot of people try to try to collect the uh, best, and the the best ones are probably the the base set or the most expensive is the base set, and what usually everybody goes to and uh, resorts to. But I like um, I like the fact that they come out with new genres even now. Uh, 25 years later, they have Sword and Shield with introductions to new Pokemon. There's uh, Detective Pikachu. That's a good pull. There's also uh, two variants to this um, Detective Pikachu. Two variants you get with the Charizard. Um, it's like a Charizard box. It's like a special Detective Pikachu box that you could get with a Jumbo, a Jumbo Charizard or a Jumbo Mewtwo. And you get two uh, alternative arts of Pikachu with those. But like um, how they came out with Sword and Shield and they had like Inteleon and all the starters. And then they came out with also the Urshifu and Cubfu. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, they have Ditto, this is Ditto, and this is, um, I think it's a rare. Well, it has a C, oh, it's a U, so it's uncommon. But in the American version, I think it's a rare, and it's actually kind of hard to get in the American version. So yeah, I think Kupfu and Greninja, uh, not Greninja, um, Urshifu was a good touch to have the, the set itself revolve around that one Pokemon and they came out with um, that Pokemon kind of like, like with the set revolving around it. There's another Greninja, the reverse form. The other one was a hollow. So there's the reverse. And the reason I bring that up is because they had this revolve around the movie. And the CGI was a really big, um, really big um, like influence to make me want to pick up this set. And I have the movie. And I like the movie. The movie was pretty good. Here's an Arcanine, Jigglypuff, and a Ludicolo. Cousins always uh, asking me how to pronounce a lot of these Pokemon, and I tell them the way that I say it, but it's not necessarily the right way. I tell them the way I, I pronounce them, and um, I think it's not necessarily the right way. I think the right way to pronounce the Pokemon, if you really want to pronounce them correctly, is by watching the show maybe, and seeing some of the Pokemon and how they are pronounced in the show. But me personally, I, I can't tell if I'm telling saying them right either. And earlier I was mentioning how Charizard is like, uh, what do you think of like powerful, Powerful Pokemon, Charizard is like a snake, and if you ever had like 
held a snake or anything like that. It's like uh, it wraps itself around your arms and it constricts. And you, when you feel that type of, oh, we got a Mewtwo, very nice. Mewtwo GX. I think I think it's pretty good. Um, it's a pretty good guarantee that you get a complete set in one booster. But I'm not a hundred percent on that. But like you think of a snake, it's very powerful when it, like the 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 muscle behind its power, and then watching a movie and seeing Charizard and how he towers over the other Pokemon and like human, even even the humans are like really not a, a match for him and stuff like that. It's like crazy how you could think of that, like how powerful that could be. Like a dragon. Like look at the look at the cover of the art. And if you ever seen the movie, you see how big he is. It's like We got Slacking, Psyduck, Charmander, that's a good pull. Ludicolo. That seems like the exact same pack that I got when I pulled the Ludicolo last time. So we still got the Greninja to pull. Haven't pulled the Greninja yet. And the Secret Ray, which is guaranteed in every set, I believe. Is it Jigglypuff? Lacking. My champ. Oh, there we go. We got the Secret Rare. I think it's, uh, what is his name? Detective something Moto. And no, it's not Quasimodo. That was a joke. I'm just trying. <laughs> I'm trolling. All right, so we got the secret rare. We need a Greninja. I think that's the last one we need is the Greninja. And there is a chance to pull, uh, pull a double GX Charizard. That's what I'm hoping for. Is a Snubble. Uh, that's the second version or, yeah, the second version of the Bulbasaur. Two different uh, art types. Here's a Lickitung. And we got the Greninja. Oh yeah, yeah, we still gotta pull the Greninja. And then now, the only thing left I think is maybe pull a double of one of them. One of the GXs might be a double. Sick looking Arcanine too. And here's a Mewtwo reverse. I think that's what I pulled in the first pack. With the Mewtwo reverse. We got about four packs left, I think. So on the Japanese set, Detective Pikachu, the packs, I think you got 20 packs and one booster. There's a Bulbasaur. It's lacking. Champ. Another Charizard. Wow, this is like the third one we pulled. Third reverse. I haven't really been paying attention to how many Pikachus we pulled, but what am I pulling? 
more Pikachus. I think I only remember pulling one or two. Arcanine. And another Ditto. So Dittos are pretty common in the Japanese set. I thought they would be a little more rare. But I guess they're only rare really in the American set. Yeah, so I really like the fact that Pokemon still have the um, ideas to come out with new Pokemon every every time um, a new set or a new genre comes out. So we have uh, Mr. Mime. I think that's the first time we've seen Mr. Mime. And then we have the rare Physical Ninja. Yeah, that's the common one. Usually everybody gets the Greninja as the double. Would have liked to have pulled the Charizard. All right, last pack. Right. I like the fact that there's no card trick in this and there's no code card to spoil anything, but there's not really that many cards in the set, so you, you kind of already know what you're getting. And the rare is a Pikachu. Good way to end off the box. That was a good box. Um, I would like to have pulled the Charizard twice. Like I would like to have pulled the double Charizard. But we can do a recap. Oh, I should have sleeved this. So we did only get one hollow, and that was the Greninja. We got three reverse hollow Charizards, which is pretty good. I got two Greninjas, GXs. We got the Mewtwo, GX. And we got the Charizard, GX. That is just so sick, I love that card. The CGI really, really, they really did good with the CGI on the Pokemon. And then the secret rare was the, ah, oh, I forgot his name, Detective Mohit. Ah, oh, I forgot his name, I'm not even gonna butcher it. I don't wanna attempt, because I know I'll butcher it. But that was the opening, guys. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to let you guys know when I come out with new videos. And like always, till next time, guys. Peace.